okay now i realize that like because this is what we we're saying last week and i was speaking to mike and jonathan about this like i'm not i realize that i'm i'm not diligent with my efforts mm-hmm. and then and then that causes me to look back and think okay yeah do you remember when you did that uh, and you dropped halfway up and then you did that and then you dropped halfway up yeah, yeah. uni like bare things in it so now i'm thinking rah but then now this is why meetings like this are so important as soon as Mike made the link between salvation, yeah, and uh, career or financial gain or mm. whatever, then I was like, okay, cool. Now the power's here. Because one thing, oh my days, that I never ever gave up on was my relationship with God. That's the one mm. thing I was mm. diligent with. Yeah. From the moment God entered my life, I've been diligent to keep that fire burning because Mm -hmm. because he's central to absolutely everything in my life. So now Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, okay, this area of my life is lacking now in it. So it's like Mm -hmm. I just need the power of God that saved me there because I'm already diligent in my relationship with God. Mm -hmm. So I just need to carry that over here. Do you see Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So now my prayers um, are being refined where I'm, I'm asking for God to make me diligent in everything that I do. Yeah, the same way I was with yeah. him because yeah, yeah. it's all right when people tell you you're talented, you're gifted, you're academic, yeah, you can read well, you can speak well, your yeah. vocab's good, but I know second, third, fourth hurdle, it's quitting time. I'm just being mm. real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm just man. being real. So mm. I'm asking God for that diligence, man, because you're telling me, okay, God's made me academically and, and uh um, academically gifted right and when he now has the power of making me diligent you're telling me I've got academics diligence and the power of God I can't fail can't fail so uh, that's uh, so my week was it was a sobering week in it so God had to bring me low man just explain yo I was feeling low for a good couple of days man <laughs> Jonathan checked up in the middle of the week he was like yeah I got a couple of left hooks <laughs> but I got back up and I was like yeah man same man same man. In fact, he just messaged me. He's coming online in a second. Mm-hmm. I was just listening to I listened to a, um, a podcast in it like uh, yesterday. Mm-hmm. Um, what's that? Et. Yeah. Et. E- yeah. You know the you know the motivational speaker. Is it et? <laughs> et. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, he was like <clears throat> yesterday. He was like he was, he was talking yesterday about people that are producers, like like they like they produce stuff like they you know they they the people out there. That are not consumers, they're producers. Like if you got a producer mentality, oh, okay. that, do you get what I'm saying? Like mm. a consumer goes around looking for someone to give them a hand here and there, but mm. a producer, he, he, do you know what I mean? Like he, he's that person that he makes something happen. Like yeah, so, yeah, it, yeah. it's like if you broke it down like this, he goes, "There was one, there was two guys, two friends that he had, nearly fell out. One of them came up with the idea, brilliant idea. So the other one." Ran with the idea, put his money forward, and just ran off with it, and just and he, and his idea just blew like blew up. So he's like, oh, I think now I'm gonna pull out of this. Just gonna mm. pull out of what? Like what do you mean? Like it's like I'm gonna pull out of this because like it seems like it's all going in the guy that the guy that just took the idea and ran with it. It's going like in his direction. So I want to pull out and take my thing back. And he's like, Nah, bro, mm. you came up with the idea. He was he was the goal. He done he done all the work. You just came with the idea, and it goes, you are lucky. He goes, listen, if it was me and you doing this thing, you wouldn't even get the 20% that my man's giving you. Because you only came up, because you only came up with the idea. Hmm. Like, like the other guy ran with it, ran, ran with the idea, and he he, he established the building, the, the, the business. Do you see what I'm saying? He put the work in. It's like, you can, you can have the idea, but it doesn't belong to you. Just because you came up with the idea doesn't mean it belongs to you, in it. So he's like, you're lucky, bro. He goes like, I'm mm. telling you, he goes, you need to man up and own the fact that you didn't do nothing. You came, you had an idea, a great idea, but you didn't do nothing with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I was like, I was like, and that's harsh, but it's so true. Yeah. So powerful. Yeah. I was like, yeah, man, that's so true. Like, you can't have an idea and then not build on that idea. That means you didn't even believe in your own idea yourself. Someone else took it and you think it belongs to you. Like, nothing, you know, like, there's that saying that nothing's really new underneath the sun, isn't it? It's already been... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's already been done, man. Someone else has already thought that thing, that same <laughs> thing you thought. Like, yeah. You know yeah. What I mean? Like, you gave... you Your idea went into to the, my man's, your bedroom's mind, and your bedroom went, like, yo, I'm taking this. This is... this. I'm going to make this work, because 
I see that this can work. And he did it. So, yeah, man. Like, that's, that's um, the moral behind that is, like, if you got an idea, keep it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point, Andrew. I like that. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> mm-hmm. Keep it to yourself, man. You'd be surprised how quick people run with your idea, man. Mm-hmm. Like, listen and like, Shout like a um, hey. shout like a samurai. <laughs> Check your idea. Oh, man. Yo, Matthias, man, can you, good to see you online, man. I just noticed you there. Yeah, man, good to see you. Like. Sorry, been um, busy, busy this week, man. Well, past two weeks, very tired, early nights, you know. I've been catching up on some of your videos and everything, and uh, yeah, man, I just need to watch the uh, baptism part two. Cool, and, yeah, yeah, man, I'm up to date. Yeah. All right, excellent, man. Yes, Matthias, man. Yeah, that's the blessing of technology, man. We can record these things so no one has to miss out because of life commitments and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, I was like, oh, right, so I'm locking him off, but I'm not actually teaching him anything. And he's not understanding why, or well, he does understand, he does things to me. And that's the reason why I lock him off and everything. But he's not understanding that that's not how it should be, basically. I should show him some love to say, even though you, rip, you, you do all these things to me, you're my brother-in-law, I still love you, you know, which I do love him. So it's a bit hard to say that, isn't it? But, you know, reading that scripture, it's just very interesting, basically. You know, I just need to basically just swallow that, that, that pride, that pill, and just... Show that little olive branch, and hopefully, you'll see that as why are you doing that? And hopefully, I can just then educate him to say, Yo, you get me God's love, <laughs> undeniably, you can't run from it. So, mm-hmm. you just, you know what I mean? If you just look to that, so mm-hmm. it was just interesting, anyways. I was just speaking to my wife earlier about it, and now you guys are basically saying the exact same thing. Just need to just swallow that pride and just mm-hmm. hold out, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, if Ephesians chapter 4 verse 26 and 20, 27 Ephesians chapter 4 verse 26 and 27 just, I just want to read in light with what Andrew said sometimes you just really get angry and like you know what can you do or you know so I'm just going to read Ephesians chapter 26 verse 27 yeah be he angry and sin not let not the sun go down upon your wrath, neither give place to the devil. So I, I, I personally believe that, you know, anger is just an emotion. The problem arises when we allow the devil, because, you know, the devil is clever. You, you allow the devil to just transform your anger into frustration. Then you, you don't talk to the person no more. So for me, it's okay to get angry, but it's just how you deal with that person in the, in the moment. You get what I'm saying? So like, if you, if you get angry throughout the day, don't go to bed angry. Try to forgive that person. Try to resolve the situation. So it's very important that we, we don't let the sun go down upon our wraths or give place to the devil as well in that situation. Yeah, definitely. Let me give you an actual real life scenario because i said i'm i'm living by what i'm talking about right so for the first good maybe i don't even know how long three maybe three years of of my marriage first three four years right i had this constant i constantly tripped up at this one scenario and the scenario went like this i would ask janine you know what's wrong and it starts off all well, Jay, what's wrong? You can talk to me, you know, let me know what's happening. Um, and then it escalated from that to why are you not talking? Why are you not speaking? Blah, 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 blah. And then it escalated from there to until I'm proper upset, taken on her silence, like as if to say, well, you know, why are you not talking to me? And then I'll get upset. And that kept on happening over and over and over and over, and over, and over, and over again. And then, like I said, you go back, you feel bad, you say, sorry, would make up, it should forgive me or whatnot. But consequences are consequences. And so consequences, 
consequences would have it that obviously if you keep losing your call, uh, your wife's going to be like, mm, are you going to lose your call at everything? So that gave a strain on our marriage in certain places, right? So obviously you go away, you say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then you go to God, oh, God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But you keep doing it. You keep doing it. And when I, so one day I was talking to my brother about it, right? And, but when I was talking to him about it, he asked me this simple fundamental question that just blew me away. He goes, because I said, I said, oh, she's doing this because X, right? She, like, that's why I said the scenario of the play. The reason why you get angry is because what you attach to the meaning of the action. Do you see? You attach that meaning. So obviously you're going to get upset. Obviously. You're thinking something about your woman, which is just clearly not true in that situation. You've assumed that, right? I was doing the same thing. And Jovi said, yeah, but how do you know it's because of X? Yeah, but it has to be. It has to be. It has to be. He said, but how do you know that? But it has to be. And then in the conversation, I said, it has to be because mommy used to do the same thing. She used to do this to me, blah, 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 blah. So of course it's the same thing. Same action, different reasons. And I was like, as soon as I changed the meaning to the action, as soon as I literally, as soon as I'm telling you, that it, it didn't happen like that no more. Just boom, just like a short fuse. And for me, I hear what Abadai is saying, but for me, I don't even want to get vexed. This thing about, because some of us can, can be vexed, you won't even know it. Do you see? You understand what I'm saying? Like some people get vexed, you don't even know they're vexed. Like they, oh, I hear that, yeah. They, they say that like, I was fuming, and you're like, you were fuming? <laughs> wow. And I wish I, I could think, do that. <laughs> right? I think there's different types of anger store. Yeah, of course there is. That's, there is, there's, there, yeah, there is, Anton, you're right. But for me, when I hear my anger is only, only, there's only one way. It's, you, you're you're going to see it. And you're going to hear it. <laughs> he's going off. He's, he's like a Mike Tyson is going off. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> I don't, so, that's it, Anton. I don't even, I don't even get there. Because mm. when I get there, it's, it's, it's like the whole place has been blown up already. There's nothing to pick up. There's no pieces. People say, I'll pick up the pieces. I'm like, what pieces? I blocked the whole house, man. Mm. <laughs> I Finish. think there's something in it to what you said, though. You know, when you were saying about, you know, um, separating the things from, like, your... Almost like your ram in your brain of seeing something like the same actions but the different intent behind it. I think it's kind of like... It, there's two ways. It's like the intentions. You can't ever really read someone's intentions. And being imperfect, your intentions can be great, but the results can be catastrophic. So that's something to bear in mind because you can go in with the purest of hearts, the purest of intentions, but things just come out diabolical. That's just the imperfection. And another thing is kind of like what you taught us last week with, um, in a sense of what Lyndon was talking about, Khalid and yourself and me, was talking about, you know, like the, um, the nature. Mm. Like those two parts, that, that kind of has something to do with this as well because it's like, like, you know, you're only imperfect and it's like somebody else is, pro is probably doing exactly the same thing that you're doing. I so it's you. like they're trying to respond to you in the best way that they know based upon what they know and you're doing the same thing based upon what you know but in actual fact you both got the complete wrong end of the stick. Mm. We're letting, mm. like you're saying, and we're humbling ourselves to God. He's doing the work. Mm. He's, the, he, he, he's doing the communicating for them and the Holy Spirit can... It's pleading for us to be doing the right things so that we're saying the right things and the, the right things are coming to our remembrance so that we can even communicate that to the next man in the best way possible so that any any feelings that we have attached aren't scurring the point of what it is that we're trying to get across because if we're going to say that, you know, we should try and take away from the experiences in which we've had that have made us feel that way, that might take away from when we're speaking a word and we get so passionate about something because we felt wrong done by something and we need to get that out. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So I think that can mm. be, that's why I say there's different types of anger because it's like you can be angry at someone for, for wasting potential, but you're not trying to hurt them and it's not something that they may be hurt by. 
but it's something oh, that is normal okay. to them that they need to be able to recognise and wake up. Because sometimes yeah, you might have to slap someone to wake them up. Like, <laughs> the only way to actually wake them up is that actually is the physical force of the slap. <laughs> You're talking about so, Mike. It's what you were talking about earlier, righteous indignation. Yeah, but before we go into, I don't wanna, I don't want to try splitting hairs about different types of anger or whatnot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I just want to focus. So we know when, how, when we're doing wrong in terms of yeah, sorry, the motive behind your anger. In, you see, yeah. and so we, I want to just stick to that scenario that and, um, Andrew brought up. The next, the, the, and let me give you another example. When I was in um, a, a college training, right. I remember, I won't go into the long details, but a dean came to tell me something. I lost my call at him, right? And, you know, again, you feel bad afterwards. And I was talking to a brother who was a, a staff member there who I got very close to and trusted and everything, right? And I remember him saying something to me again that just blew me away. After we spoke and one, he says, now go and tell them what you wanted to say, but do it properly. Do you get the difference? So what mm. I was saying was correct. Because I had frustrations, a lot of frustrations with the place and what was happening to students or whatever, right? But how I said it was wrong. Because I'm, I'm now living according to Jesus' standard, not the world standard. Mm. The world standard would have looked at me in my room and be like, what, what was wrong with what you did? Sometimes oh. you've got to tell people. you got to just tell them. Tell them, man. I said, <laughs> I my mind. He let people say that. I ain't on what time. you're on. I'm 100%. on Jesus, and Jesus, yeah. I, I was selfishly, I, I was frustrated. That's not good. If you're frustrated, yeah. don't speak. Don't yeah. speak. 100, 100. Because it's not about them now, and the problem is go back to the play. No one said you're not even worried about the play. No one picked up on that. You ain't it's even... wrong. Like, it's not even about the play. The play could have been... The plate could have been any. The plate could have been a, a, a worm blood. The I, plate could have been anything, is, you know. You're saying you want to keep the place clean, then keep it clean. Yeah, mm. it's demonstration, isn't it? No, it's the point. The point is the person didn't listen. Mm. That's why you're vexed because your authority has been. That's what the issue is. That's why I said we have to change. We have to look at honestly why did you flip your top? It's not good mm. enough to just. Listen to me, Cal, and keep repeating so you don't misunderstand what I'm saying. I am not condoning anger. What I am saying is, though, we have to be honest as to why did you flip your lid. Uh, honesty doesn't mean justification. Yeah. Honesty means a good look at why did I not see the thing in the road and trip over it? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. keep tripping over this thing in the road, and then I'm like, I keep tripping, man. I keep tripping. And someone goes, Have you shone your torch to see what that is there? And you're like, No, there you go. You shine the torch, and you see this ditch that you be, keep falling into. What are you basic. Doing it's time? real basic. We're overcomplicating it all the time. It's basic. That's it. You go round the ditch. So wow. the, the, the ditch in my scenario of the play is that I feel crossed when I, my wife don't listen to me. Well, you mm. have to drop that. When you drop that, the anger goes with it. Mm. Because it's the thinking. You've dropped that philosophy that caused you to react that way. Just like, mm. I, don't, I don't need to defend myself against, oh, you're disrespecting me. I don't need to do that no more. Because that's not, I'm not on that no more. When I mm. was on that thinking, you'd have got me punching you in your face. But there's enough times people have said stuff or done stuff in the streets or in the... And what do you do now? You're like, oh, whatever. You rub it off. But there was a time there was no whatever. There was like, your blood brethren. Do you like your life? <laughs> and then if you didn't respond in the correct way, you walked up and then you felt, yeah, I told him. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the philosophy had to change. And then now that bait now, when say puts out that bait, you don't even take it. Mm -hmm. So could we dealing with this? Because look, every and this is why I love talking to people who are not Christian. When you ask them why did you do this, they'll tell you why. Because X, Y, Z. Yeah. And it's the X, Y, Z you start to reason with them about and hope they yeah. see that thinking is wrong. They go, oh, okay. Then you mm -hmm. don't need to address the action mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. every action is this. So that but, part of the brain that was lighting up before it. It don't even that's, go that way no more. That's it. <laughs> it takes, sort of the, takes the rational route. That's it. 
Sorry, mm-hmm. Gunlin, Gunlin, it's not no, a good I was I was addressing a bit that you were saying about the um the reaction then. So when the brother told you, yeah, go back to him and say what you wanted to say to him, but in the right way. Yes. You know, I don't know, Kali, remember when we went to Coventry that time? And um, yeah. Michael Michael dropped that bomb. And you don't even remember Which what bomb? it was. You don't remember <laughs> what I tell you. You remember what he said. He said, um, there's the truth and then there's the spirit of truth. <laughs> and then he said, he said, he said, people, right, will do the wrong thing. Yeah. When you tell them something truthful because of the way you said it. Now they didn't even hear the truth. They just heard how yeah, you say it. Fucks. So, mm. but what he's saying, when you go back to them, speak to them properly because that's how the spirit of truth will tell you. Because mm. you want the result, though. You don't just want to tell them and your pride be eased. That's you it. want them to change. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. hit the nail on their head yeah. as to right. I was going to say we're not going to go down red rice examination, but that's the nail on. The, that's the principle there. The issue yeah. wasn't whether you crush me not listening. I really want to see change. So That's I it. know if I'm saying it in the wrong way, then how is that? How can I ask God's blessing? It's not even going to get through. Yeah. And, and, that, and, yeah. and going back to how it affected me, mm. I really believed there was, I've lost, I can't do anything I've done wrong, you know, blah. But then when he said, go back and do it the right, I was like. Yeah, that's powerful. Man, he. I said, it's not too late. Yeah, I know that he sees in me what I'm trying to do. He's yeah. giving me a second chance. And I saw God working through him in that said like, no, go just do it the right. I see your heart. You've done it wrong. You're a bulldog at times, but I see your heart. God, and when I went, hey, the first thing I did was say sorry. Went to the faculty member and whatever. I said, look, and I said, I'm sorry for blah, 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 blah. This is what I really wanted to say. And then I said what I needed to say. You see what I mean? And for me, it was the mm. first time ever in life that a Christian didn't just see what I did. Yes. Because, because he was guided the by the Holy Spirit, bro. That was a teaching, that was a teaching element right there. It's like right there, that's the comforter right there, bro. That's exactly. what that is. That's the comforter in work, bro. Because like through that one situation and that one time when that one Christian guy showed you some realness and pulled you up on something where you thought, oh, I'm capable of this now. That's, that's look, at, look at how that's Look at how that's taught us now. Look at how no. that's taught us, brother. Yeah? Because it's like, I ain't going to lie to you, brother. Yeah? Like, the similar thing happened to me. Yeah? Like, I, I studied for an exam. And I flipped in. I gave it my best shot, brother. Yeah? I ain't going to lie, but I gave it my best shot, brother. And I went back to my dad. You know what I mean? I was saying, yo, yo, I failed the thing. Do you know what I mean? Yo, I failed the thing. You know what I mean? I missed it by four. And I was like, yo, I was vexed, bro. Trust me, I was vexed, bro. You know what I mean? Stressing, smoking, a head of a lot of weed, but just pissed from thinking that, yo, basically it's done. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm mm. done. Just vex. And the guy gave me a roasting, bro. <laughs> the guys gave me a roasting, bro. Like, you know, just like, pard me up, bro. Just like, yo, I don't know what you was doing. Just just had me up, bro. And I've, and I've got off. And I just thought, like, what a knob. Like, this is what I was thinking. I was like, what a knob. But then... What, not even a week down the line, what am I doing? My head's in my box, bro. Like, my head's are just in my box. Like, my head's are just in my box. I smashed off the exam 100%. And it's like, later on down the line, it's like, I didn't really see the importance of just that small pull-up. Just to change my approach on what I'm doing. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm putting on all the work. Yeah, I'm probably whiz reading it. But I'm not doing it the right way. Like, the application ain't right. And it's like what Lyndon was saying a few weeks mm. ago, like, when we're accepting Christ... We're like, oh, yeah, 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 Christ, yo, yo, but, but, but then we're like, oh, this ain't changed. But it's like, because we haven't changed that. Like, we're not trying to accept him in that right way. And mm. until that, until that right person or that right situation comes along and they can like show you the error of your ways in that moment and you don't feel hurt by it, you actually feel driven by it, you ain't going to learn. Mm. And that's what other people learn through as well, because they can feel the experience of what it is that you went through. Mm. Yeah, man. Bro, that's big. What you said there, I never never saw it in... I've never seen it in that light, but it resonated with me. He believed I could still do it. Mm. And, wow. and it, was imp- it was empowering because I feel like I failed. When you start following God, man, the devil's on your back, man. And when you yeah. do it wrong, 
because you feel you you know you got some great designs but you do wrong it's like you've destroyed it. you think ah oh. that's it you know? and, and then the devil just comes on and says you see there's no way out of this you yeah. can't get out of this you're wrong has now caused this and then that's a double whammy you're already feeling bad and then you think your wrong has just caused this great calamity that you can't fix and then when it when you're dealing with people someone might not forgive you and then you've done something that hurts them and they're going to hold that for a long time and it was your fault in a sense you yeah. see because if you didn't hurt them then they wouldn't feel this way i'm not saying it's your fault that they don't forgive that's between them and god and they have the right to forgive what i'm saying is those hurt feelings are a result of what you've done and then you feel bad so i'm thinking all of this is in my head so when he said and that's when he gave me time to talk and I told him everything what I was trying to do, blah, 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 blah. Why I got upset. Yeah, all my frustrations. And never did he go, why do you feel that way? Me, me, me. Like in a oh, condescending Sorry, sorry, to, sorry said, to go back. back. Go on, you... Sorry, my phone rang, man. What, what was you saying just, just before? Oh, I, I, was just, I was just expounding on that one statement you said that he believed you could do it. Do you see and that, yeah. that was empowering at the time because I felt like I'd failed, didn't I? I felt like there was no coming back from this. There's nothing I can do now. I'm in this place. I'm studying. You know, it was a, it was a missionary college as well, a Christian college as well. So it's like, so if you do something wrong, it's like, you think, oh, man, everyone's going to be talking about it, blah, blah, blah. But then he just literally, that, that, he listened to my frustrations. He listened to me complaining and never did he stop me and, and try and correct me. So you shouldn't be vexed. You should he literally saw what I was trying to say, even though I'd done what was wrong. The emphasis wasn't on what I did. It was, okay, if you know what that's you wrong, do. you're going to do it right you then. Can do. Yeah. yeah. Anton, that's the thing, Anton. He said, it, he didn't say it, but this is what I got from it. All right, Mike, if you're so high and mighty and you think this is, then go and do what's right then. <laughs> and it's, the it's the same thing with our it's the same thing with our women bro like and your wife bro like it's exactly the same thing that's why you have to get married and that's why you have a woman bro because you see like you can come from broken homes and like yeah i think i spoke to andrew about this like and matthias like you can come from broken homes from like you know what i mean not the greatest of family upbringings and that like, when you have uh a woman in your life who actually loves you shows you love and mm. actually believes in you like yo then it's a different kettle of fish you're a different kettle of fish. You're a different kettle of fish, bro. Like, this is what God's pattern for us from. He's built us in his image, isn't it? <laughs> so it's like, we're networking creatures, bro. We're intelligent, bro. Like, we've got feelings and, like, we, we've got urges to want to do better and help each other so that we can become stronger and better, in it? Because essentially, like, everything that we're doing and everything in our life is only for one purpose, and that's to serve God, isn't it? That's for the, that's the bottom line. So it's like you, like if, like Andrew was saying, I think, and you were saying that two weeks ago and talking about character building, it's like, how would you be able to build on your character if you're already doing everything or you, it, or if you can't make any adjustments? You can't build on mm. your character. It's going to be like that. Yeah. So it's like through these examples and through these things, it's like that shows you that we're still learning, isn't it? at least we've still got room to grow. At least we still, at least we can understand because I think it's it's just a good feeling just to be able to learn something, mm. like especially when it's with someone who actually cares, isn't it? Like that makes yeah. all the difference. I think that's why this study is important to me personally, isn't it? Because I learn something with brothers who actually care, isn't it? Like that makes all the difference. When I'm hearing something and I know that yo Michael's gonna break that down or Andrew's thinking about it, Obadiah's got something to say, scriptures to back it up. Fida's going back through his Bible. Jonathan's got highlights for, from his lifetime. You know what I mean? Khalid's got examples. You've got brothers inviting football teams. It's like, that's real stuff. That's what does the work, isn't it? Like, when you've gone through real stuff, each one of those examples of somebody, just even like when my man's even invited the football team. That's like a point of like, no, don't do it like that. Oh, yeah, he could have just quickly said out a quick text. Yo, yo, I'm doing this, boom. But that wasn't the right way of doing it. He's listened to the Holy Spirit. Yo, invite them, man. So these times where Andrew was talking about when we're just doing things for the flesh, and, and, and it's just one of those times where we didn't exercise what the Spirit was telling us, because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to be told to go back and do it right if we didn't have the ability to go and do it, because God wouldn't give you something that you can't bear. Yeah. Let, me, let, me, let me give you another example, yeah? What if... Oh, Mike, 50... 
Oh, oh, I have to, I have to shoot off now. Oh, sorry, oh, so, oh, man. Okay. You got to do something tomorrow morning. He's got the NBA tonight, boy. <laughs> nah, I don't pay for NBA in it, so I have to wait. No, nah, I'll wait. send you the link. I'll send you the link. I'll send you the link. I got you. My, uh, so yeah, so quickly before I go, right? Um, maybe you could uh, go back to the Ephesians two verse Ephesians two eight, right? A little little exercise because um. One thing that struck struck out at me because we're talking about, you know, um, how to make this practical because that's why we've been talking for a while about you know anger management and all that stuff, right? And this kind of came to my mind. Were you reading that text for by grace? Yeah, let's take out the word grace and just say, uh, you know, like the judge's free pardon, yeah. Because that's ultimately what God has given us. Isn't it? We turn up to court and then God says, yeah, we've got a sinner in the stands. How do you plead? And you turn to Jesus and go, come on, man, come on, man. And Jesus goes, <laughs> Jesus goes, free pardon. And you're like, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. And then the judge goes, slams down his gavel, you're free to leave. Yeah. <laughs> now, so, so I was thinking, now, with that now, let me ask another question, just to put that in your mind. Let me ask another question. You know when you get, when you, when you do whatever sin there is, yeah? You do whatever sin there is, you know, whatever. But ultimately, what, what is it that God's going to say if you don't make it, given the fact that we are saved is by a free pardon? Mm. Is God going to be saying if we well, don't in, make let, it? Let me, say the, let me say it this way. In verse 8 and 9, this is the way it says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves is the gift of God. And then in case you never knew what that meant, it then, he then uh, reiterates in verse 9, <laughs> Not of works, lest they might be close. So can you work your way into heaven? No. So is there is there an amount of good you can do to be like right? Yeah. Oh. Uh, my place. Ooh. Oh, what a beast! So is there is there is there? Oh, can you go, Jesus man? Look at all the times I didn't get vexed though. Mm. That doesn't mean anything. So then, so now here's here's the here's the oh. here's the standard though. We know you can't earn your way into heaven by not getting vexed. You could not sleep around. You could not smoke. You could be, what's that woman who was old and was doing all the charity? Mother Teresa. Mother you could be her. <laughs> yeah? You could be her <laughs> since you were four years old. Yeah? Feeding the whole world. And still Jesus would be like, you're not, it's not, you're not going to make it. So then you have to ask, then why then? Head the spanner. So then why then am I getting... Why am I trying not to get vexed then? Mm. Why am I trying not to get vexed? Can yeah. I answer that? What? What is that? Is that under the inter- is that under the understanding that you know that you're not going to make it on the basis no, of that? In, no, as, as in, or that you I might know, not yeah. make it because it's not works based. Yeah, if I know yeah. I can't get to heaven by being good, why am I being good then? I guess well, because it's not about wanting to be good, is it? It's just trying to do the right thing. Well, that's what why do I want to do the right thing? If doing the right if, thing... If, because if you because love God, you then you just try, isn't it? it? If you love God, then it's, it's that. If, if, if it's love. If it ain't really love, then it won't yeah. be that. Okay, so let me ask you a question then. Is it enough to... to is, it, is, it, is, is what is being tested then a true heartfelt love for God? Is that what God is testing? Yeah. Is, is it is it what's what say say again? Say is again. God looking for, yeah, a true heartfelt love for him. Is that what he's looking for? I, I, I believe I so because so. we've been created for. Now, now watch this then. Is there is 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 there a is there like a, a measuring stick, yeah, of how to measure love? No. 
It'll be a case by case run because we're all unique cases. And only God well, knows who we are. There's a principle so when it's measuring. Sorry, sorry, Anton. Sorry, go on. Oh, so, so. Oh, because I, I think there's a delay. There's a there's a um, there's a principle, but you can't measure it because love, like as long as you're according to the principle in it, you can measure the principle, but you can't measure like what it can because it's it's love. Right. Love so can wait, jump John. in building. Love can give a, a little sweet out. But the sweet is nothing in comparison to jumping inside a burning building, but both principles are the same if it's both from love, in it? Mm. Love so could give it, you a roast then, then Is no, it by you faith, then? Measure it. So is, is it by, by uh, actions? By, by actions. faith. Ooh. By faith. Ooh. Yeah, as in, like, because it's... it's, it's um, you can only <laughs> have belief in that it is that it is that motive, if that makes sense. Oh my you know, goodness, because then you wouldn't it's, it's, doubt it if you actually had the faith. <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a principle that I'm thinking of. And it says that he who is forgiven of much loves much. So the way I would measure the way, it's like, because that's your only motivation, isn't it? Mm. Your only motivation is God's done all these things for me. So now... It's like, I want to show God how much I love him because of what he's done for me, yeah, kind so of thing. Do you do it because you're trying to get to heaven? No. No? You do it because your place is already secure. So if your place is wide, so, so because here's, here's my point, though. Here's my yeah. point. Before I go, right? Here's my point. So why do we stress so much when we make a mistake? So mm. you're afraid. You forget that. Yeah, you do. Because, I'll, I'll be you honest. See, we're not talking about, you know, the, a person who's abandoned, don't care, don't business. They're trying to, you know, pull a fast one and then, you know, claiming, oh, God will forgive me. And we're not talking about that. We're talking about the genuine article. Someone who is saved by the grace of God, not of their works. Clearly then, yeah, their works, don't, their, their, their works, yeah, is not them trying to be saved. Mm -hmm. Clearly then, their works can only be, yeah, it, it can only be natural, a natural thing that comes as a result of them being saved. Mm. And that's what grace does. You see? So then when we talk about, you know, uh, doing good, overcoming, blah, 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 we have to really think and go, well, and then, and this is where, you know, uh, Andrew and Mike were talking about, uh, you need to, you know, rewire how you're thinking and more about uh, uh, how you're thinking towards God, in it? Because I'm sure when you was in the world, you didn't worry too tough about being vexed. No. Yeah? Just all, what, all the times you're going to, you know, count all the times in one day you got vexed. You probably only be concerned about the vex that was vented to somebody you didn't want it vented to. <laughs> See, you didn't be like, man, I got vex at the postman, you know, because <laughs> because he missed my house. <laughs> then you go to your room and you're all guilty, like, ay, 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 I was vexed at the postman, you know. <laughs> you weren't like that. Do you know what I mean? And God almost wants you to be the same, <laughs> like now. Why are you getting all uppity uppity about things that don't even concern you and me? Yeah, especially if like once once we sin and that and we've and, and we've gone to repent and everything like that, and then he says that like you know that's that's gone. Like the forgiven forgetting, that's gone. Yeah. Like I think to be honest with you, the only explanation I could have for that, I don't know if anyone else would agree yet, yeah, but it's kind of based on what we was talking about last week with like the devil's pattern in it. Like he's he he's so he, he's moved so closely to us yeah that he's engineered a system where we just have like a continuous amount of inadequacy. It's like he's given us like a a, a, a lifetime supply of inadequacy and second guessing yourself. And unless like you said, like unless we're up on the word and we're around people who are doing the same thing, I don't really think it's possible to ever escape that. 
because it's like you continuously always well as we know like we already looked at it sin is the wages of death and we're going to continuously sin to the end of the end of life but we can afford and that oh man so when it says it it's not going to be of works uh what does that scripture say yeah, not of works let's like anyone say. boast because all we can do in the all the works that we can do is in the flesh and andrew said it already that all we can afford in the flesh is death yeah so that's what i'm saying right we know just from our own experience, our own experience has proved to us two things. What you've just said, yeah. yeah. But it also, is, our own experience has proved to us that to love God is possible. What do you mean? Uh... Because the fact, that, the fact that we're all on this call right now makes yeah. no sense. If the devil sense? had his way, yeah, yeah. We should, then this wouldn't honest, be happening. Nothing yeah. should be happening. No yeah. good doing nothing because all our works are just death. So how are we are talking about life right now? You see? Hmm. Because this, it, so, so are you saying that this isn't works? Are you saying that this is separate? What I'm saying the... is what we're doing here is mm -hmm. proof that, oh, grace. That, that grace is more oh, powerful my days. than we even imagine. Because we're not even oh, thinking mm. about what we're doing. Oh my days. But then when we, we don't get from the oh, Bible. So all I can deep. say is goodness grace. <laughs> <laughs> so John, goodness. you're saying that we don't even see the little things as the power of God. Right. Wow. The real wow. quickly. We're not even seeing just hold up, John. Yeah, basically. Hold wow. up. Wow. The reason is though, very simply, is John said it before, what comes natural. That's yep. why. I'm missing it sometimes when what comes natural Ephesians 2 says before grace came you were by nature xyz yeah but when grace comes now what comes naturally is like things like this You're yeah just, so as yeah. Anton said when you repent I'm like I no you. even be even before we're already Ooh. thinking oh man oh why and, and I'll end on this one. I end on this. Then yeah, I'll but you know what I mean, though, because you've already repented in your heart from when you've done it. Yeah, I get yeah, you, yeah, Anton. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, in it, not not the actual action of the prayer, but you know, like if you've actually genuinely, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Matthew said earlier, right? He said of he, he gave us a bump of a text in Matthew eighteen, yeah, where it says Jesus said, yeah. If your friend sins against you, you have to forgive him, not just seven times. He says, for 70 times seven. And if you do the math, that's 490 times. In one day. Now, now, now if Jesus is expecting us to forgive each other like that, how much does he expect of himself? And mm -hmm. just to give you a little illustration of what that means here, so we always remember. I was watching um, the Miami Heat. They didn't play so well, yeah? Yeah, of course they did it. They got slapped around by AD and LeBron, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about that later, right? We'll talk about my Jimmy Butler, that has some fighting words. But anyway, we'll talk about it later. Right? <laughs> and then, so anyway, one of them who was supposed to be like the, the, the sharpshooter of the, of the bunch, well, two of them, supposed to be sharpshooters and then they just went missing, yeah? For the whole entire game, just like, where are they? But amazingly, after missing so many shots over and over and over, and they just kept missing, just jacking up all these shots and just missing, missing, missing. True, they got some layups or whatever. But amazingly, afterwards, the reporters, obviously, they're asking the, the, the teammates, like, why, what happened? Like, why didn't you just change up the game plan, you know, or tell somebody else to take the ball and shoot and that? And... <laughs> They said to them, this, this is what they said to them, the top players said, right? They said, we just kept telling them, those that were missing, keep shooting. Yep. Keep just shooting. Keep going. That's what they kept saying. Yeah, that's yeah. what they kept saying. <coughs> yeah. Now, now, <laughs> and then and we know why they keep saying that. Because... You don't shoot, if, you don't score. If you don't... <laughs> that's right. You don't shoot, you don't score. But now, watch this. Check the psychology. The reality is he's missing. Mm. And in church, yeah, amongst Christians, more time, the reality is all our mistakes. We focus on that. But we don't actually focus on just what Jesus has said, and Jesus has never talked about us in such a negative way. 
Mm. He never said, boy, oh, man, you better give up, man. This guy's got bars, you know. Jesus, mm. Jesus said to Peter, who just denied him, Peter, do you love me? Peter, remember what I said. Yeah, Peter, you're going to be that guy that goes to the world and preaches the gospel. And, and, and he said to the disciples, don't worry, you denied me, the, you know, when I needed you most. Don't worry. Wait in Jerusalem until you be in due the power of the one on high. <laughs> Jesus is always speaking to us what we shall be and not what we even are today. Oh, my days. Mm. Sure. You see, the grace is God. God's view of what he can do for us and with us. You God's see, grace is his view of what he can, he do. can do for us. And what can oh, God, God can do miss. everything. Everything, anything, so if everything. If I'm dead, he resurrect me. From see, when you was born, he knew who you were. When I was born, he knew who I was. He can count the hairs on your head. <laughs> he can count the hairs on my head. He knows when the sparrow falls. <laughs> he knows when the sparrow falls. Boy. <laughs> he knew that I was going to grow up with all these habits and this and that and this and that and he also knew but none of that will, 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 will stop Jonathan from getting on me when I tell him the truth yes. because my truth my grace wow. is enough Boy. Is Ooh. Okay. y'all think we need to all say right. a little prayer brother my man's licked it up yeah. again bro all right let this was this a is, stuff, he would have been wheeling it up. Wait, 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 wait. Let's chew on that a little bit more, man. Can you just say it again, please, say again, Jonathan? Man. Just say it again, man. <laughs> Let's assimilate, man. Let's meditate on this for a second. Which, then we can give thanks, it, man. The bit where you just said that God knew what was going to happen by him. Yeah, from there. <laughs> when I call, my grace is sufficient because all of those issues you had, blah, 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 that weren't going to stop because yeah. my grace, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. yeah. It's unbelievable. God knew when he made us in the womb, he knew what we will become. He knew we were going to go to some dark places, you know. Let's tell the truth. Tell Jesus yeah. the truth. Some of us have been to some raw dark places. Dungeon. That's even scary for us to revisit even now. Yeah. And God knew we were going to go there. But guess what? God didn't panic. <laughs> God didn't That's go, God, oh, my oh, okay. God didn't uh, go, uh, okay. Okay. God never said, Oh, crumbs. No, man. Say that hmm. grace bit again. Say the grace bit again. So that's so, his view. So, so God knew that his grace was so strong that no matter what we found ourselves in, he knew one call of his grace would call us out because grace is what God sees what he can do with hmm. us and not what we can see what we can do in ourselves. Wow. And the demonstration of that is just apparent from us even having a discussion because if it wasn't of if it wasn't so, then it wouldn't be possible. That's wow. right. Because wait, look at this here. Look at this as well. Let's be honest. And I'll just be honest myself, right? Two seconds, two seconds. Right. I'll be honest. As someone who is 38 years old, I shouldn't have this much zeal about life, given the past that I've had. Yeah. Not 38, didn't pay bro. attention in school, didn't pay attention in college, didn't pay attention, didn't even go to university, gassed away my time like nothing, and I've mm. come here and now I'm still persevering in the thing I'm trying to do. You see, mm. I shouldn't be saying that. It doesn't make any sense. Mm. But what mm -hmm. keeps me going is not mm. what I can accomplish of myself. It's because Jesus says, get up, yes. I've got some work for you to do. Yes, Same sir. Old. Yes, sir. You're not that doing it for the eyes of men. It's not, for, right. it's not for the men. Right. You're not doing works for men. Because if it was for the bosses and the mans, oh, they're giving up. Obviously, mm. don't make we'll no sense. We'll be locked up. We'll be locked up. We'll be locked up. Locked up in some place. Six Much less dead. Up. You see? So it's like, the only thing that gets me up is because I know if I can hear that still small voice, if I hear Jesus saying to me, look, man, I've got a work for you. What must he see? He must not see failure. Wow. Was he called yeah. before? Whoa. He must be called oh. me because Whoa. he's going to do some Whoa. things with me. <laughs> My gosh, he yeah. couldn't see failure. He mustn't. He mustn't. Right. He can't, man. Man says He can't see it because he's so pure. He's of such... That... 
Right. Oh. That's why you can... Do you think that's why the Holy Spirit pleads and speaks on her behalf? Right, well, well, Anton. That's no, right. Can't what, see that's it. what you said. That's right. Can't see it because salvation is based upon Him, and Jesus mm. never failed. It's Jesus. Yeah, yeah. That's why He can't see it. The Father <laughs> is looking at us through the Son. Remember, oh, you know, man. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and He already sacrificed no. His whole life for all of us. Now, Mike, oh Mike. my no, 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 gosh! No, no. So, no, Mike, Mike, all, oh, Mike, please say, say your again. prayer. Say Please say a prayer, fam. Say, say that again. Prayer, man. Wait up, Anton. I will. Say that again. Guys, look. This is why we can't forget Jesus. The Father doesn't have... No. All, all what Jonathan has just said, grace. Look at the text, Ephesians 2. It says it in the text. Everything Jonathan said is in the text. The reason why God cannot look at us and see failure, see mm. hopelessness, oh, see, so see died for us. Where, where mm. Anton, mm. See mm. something not worth saving, it's in the text, Ephesians 2, right? Um, verse 4. But God, who is rich in all mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath given us life, quickened, have quickened us together with Christ. By yeah. grace are ye saved. And have raised up together, made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through who again? Christ. Through it's all about Jesus. Jesus. And then mm. verse 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship created in who again? Wow. Christ Jesus unto good wow. works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Christ. And that's why when we looked at Christ, Christ's temptation, we've done an in-depth study. Why was Christ tempted? Why did Christ have to obey the law of God perfectly? Oh. You see, why was he called the forerunner? Why did Christ have to die on the cross? It's because the Father is looking at humanity, everyone in all of their mess and their failure, through what Jesus done on the cross. And because Christ has died for every man's sins and resurrected, he stands as a proof that no one should fail. Mm. No wow. Should fail. Oh, Woo! man, I've got he goosebumps. I've got goosebumps. And Anton, that's why, that's why anyway, we yeah, looked at... Bounce, yeah? Yes, Jonathan. Later. Yeah, yeah man, Jonathan, Jonathan, man. Oh, hey, hey, Jonathan, Jonathan. Just before oh. you get off, bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you what. Are you gonna be free after we finish the study? Just for a quick thing. Yeah, I'm go gonna on, drop yeah. you the. Yeah, I'm gonna drop you the, the details, but I need to explain how you need to use it. Oh. And did the summarizing and then just goes offline. I know, you know? I know. Yeah. Yeah. That's like what <laughs> Andrew does, but for yo, the yo, wrong yo, reasons. Yo, 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 drop a, yo, drop, drop a quick prayer before my man ducks out, though. Drop a quick prayer no, before no, he ducks no. out. John, John, you want to pray, yeah? Yeah, please, man. Please, because now yes, that we man. understand it, now that we understand it properly, now we can give thanks, man. Okay. Um, well, God in heaven, once again, you come through for us. I want to thank you for your patience and your dedication and your seriousness about saving us and the world. We ask that you continue to bear us up. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Short and sweet, brother. Yeah, yeah man. Thanks. Amen. Thanks, Jonathan, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, good Bless up. Thank you. Yeah, man. Later, man. Yeah, man. Later, bro. Say. Yeah, bro. Mike, you know when you gave that analogy, yeah? Do you know... <laughs> What I saw is, yeah, I saw God, yeah, without the explanation of what, everything that we was saying, yeah, is just looking at us in it. And then all of a sudden, when you said what you said, it's like Jesus stands right in the middle in it. And now he's looking at, so when you look at us through Jesus, all he's seeing is perfection. He's not seeing the stained garment. He ain't seeing sin. He ain't seeing death and rottenness. He's Thank seeing goodness. perfection because he's looking through the lens that is, like, Jesus is the lens. And, <laughs> and, and what I was going to say, to, to, to really put an exclamation mark on it, that's why 
we looked at why Jesus had to become a man. That's the key. Oh, mm. to give him because he's the, he's the link between divinity and humanity. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. can do through taking hold of divinity. The savior, that's why when you demote Jesus as just being a man, you take away all of this all power, power. One sentence. So when you debate, that's why I don't have debates with people over Jesus divinity. I've, I literally say to them this straight, literally. Now, when I say this, you're going to be like, you're going to get it now. Mm-hmm. They go, oh, Michael, you know, prove to me Jesus is God. I'm like, you understand when you feel your need. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you understand what? Say again, say again. I say yeah, to man. them, That's you big, understand that when you feel your need. When you feel, yeah. man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. When you fear your need or feel. You feel. Feel, feel. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand, sorry. Hold on. <laughs> What's that? Say one more time. Just say it again. Say it again. When you, you look so, at someone, you get, feel your need. What does so that mean? Hold it, everyone. Hold it, everyone. So, Break it down. Advice. So when people want to get into a debate and arguments for me, Prove to me that Jesus Christ is God, right? I say mm-hmm. to them, you'll understand when you feel your need. Need for him. Your, like your need, your need, your need of salvation, your need, <coughs> your, you think you're okay. <coughs> you don't feel oh, your But need. when you're in need and you feel it, oh, yeah, then you're quick to go and cry back to God. Oh, you're That's so sorry. it. Because <laughs> look. The, the, the fundamental principle, Anton, and everybody else, the fundamental principle in all other religions except Christianity is that humanity is capable of performing good works. That's the mm. fundamental principle in any philosophy, even atheism. The mere fact that you say, I don't need God, you believe there's humanity is capable of rendering righteousness and fixing this problem, fixing the world's mm-hmm. problem. That's your fundamental philosophical belief. Christianity takes a sledgehammer and goes, really? Boom. What now? When we admit that, mm. we see Jesus makes sense. That it, it had to be God in the flesh to save us. It had to be God coming to save us. Not a man. It had to be God himself mm-hmm. in flesh mm-hmm. because he had to become flesh to take our place, to do the work that Adam failed. And so that because eternal life is his. So when we looked at those details as the savior, <coughs> it makes sense that mm. I need a savior because I can't do it. What can't I do? What is the do it? What is the I can't do? I can't render righteousness, keep the law of God perfectly. That's impossible. The law is a reflection like we looked at. The law is a perfect reflection of the law giver. Well, who's the law giver? God. So if I can keep the law without Christ, then I can be as good as God is. Mm. And uh, what was that? Ooh. What did you get the tree of the knowledge of good and bad that you will surely become like God? And so that's where that philosophy comes and from. And so that's it, bro. And so that's why I say I don't have the debate because it's not an intellectual thing. You don't need a savior. That fundamentally, mm. it's not because of something you've read. It's because of something you've accepted in life. You think you're okay when you mm. utterly, mm-hmm. utterly mm-hmm. come. To just complete, complete hopelessness, then, Oops, you, come on. then yeah. you'll be like, I need a savior to yeah. save me. I Stranded out in the Sahara Desert with no with just like a half a bottle of a 500 ml bottle of water. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Any philosophy that comes to a person who's in utter hopelessness says, You can do it. Try you like, but I've tried a million times. Yeah. I can't. And then a yep. philosophy that comes and says, hey, have faith and God will inject in you the power through Christ. You'd be yeah. like, that one makes more sense. Yeah. So that's what, you know, yeah. I meant. Man, that's, that's powerful, man. you know. <laughs> man, said, with, man said, sin, yeah, whether you like it, whether you want to get to the point where you don't want to do it, yeah, now mm. try and stop. Oh, now you feel you need. Huh. Whether you whether you want to do or not, you're hopeless. Yeah. You, you will sin whether you want to do it or not. That's mm. why you need the power of God. I don't want us to forget Jonathan's point though. Why well for me anyway, that what stuck out was why are you stressing though when you fell? If you understand That's salvation deep. by grace. Yeah, that was deep, man. Because if it's by grace, then why are you stressing? That doesn't mean you don't confess. That doesn't mean you don't say sorry, but that's not in your mind when you fell. What's in your mind is you, you fell. That's the point. How can you go back to God now? Blah, blah. Grace and grace, as we've just been talking about, like John Ford broke down so eloquently, 
that's what grace is. God's view of us. What grace is God's view of what He can do in us. Mm. That just blew me away. Mm. Really, really blew me away. Not the only one. It's weird because it's like I kind of feel. I don't know if anyone else feels the same way, but I feel like every one of these studies that we've had has given like the foundation. It's given that like, underlay the foundation. It's just been everything stacked up perfectly because everything that we've learned so far has just allowed the next study just to slot in perfectly into the, into place to just to emphasize everything else is a full encompassment and then what we i guess we're going to do next week based on faith <laughs> it's going to be exactly the same next week and thereafter until this is over because these kind of teachings but we're not looking at we're not we're not reading any secret books or secret passages or doing anything do you know what i mean this is yeah. just down to a little bit of diligence and and and, and prayer and, and holy spirit just just showing my things, bro, because it's like it's just very hard to think this is just all a coincidence that we have in these in depth conversations. So many of the times, you've got an outline, we stick to the outline, but then someone says a point, and then it just we so move to talk about these things that we end up reaching new levels of learning. You know what I mean? It's just mad how it all ties in. Mm. Amazing. A really amazing thing, especially when we was looking at, I think our first study was like the power of grace. And we kind of spent a little bit of time on that. And it's like now we're starting to even question how we're even questioning grace. Like five, six weeks down the line, you know, not even really too sure exactly what grace was in that sense for myself anyway. And then to be kind of in this position where it's kind of like, you know, I remember Andrew saying, what, you don't know Christ got your back? You know, it's like a long way from there, but it's like you can still see there's a long way of going because like Jonathan was highlighting, and these basic everyday things that we're, 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 we're doing, we're not even really seeing the greater good in it. And I feel like that's kind of what I was feeling like last week when I was saying about looking at the examples of the, the, the men of old and that, like what they did faith-wise, like your Moses or whoever it was. And when I was saying that, I've only just realised, I've only just had enough faith just to realise that God's going to deliver me on a meal for tomorrow. It's like, this is the same principle of thinking it's like simplifying it do you understand he's got you that's it man like it that's it man actually that simple like I, I just can't believe that he's not seeing the state of this this situation like he's literally like that's what shows you love he loves his son that he's put him in charge of that he trusts mm. him he trusts him with what a heavy responsibility you guys are telling me yo he was he was he was yo saying yo even this might be a bit too much for him but he trusted him bro Mm. And it came, it came through for all of us. It came through, man. Mm. It's, the, it came through, bro. it's the way Jonathan was like, it's the way J Jonathan was like, yo, God's not even worrying. Yeah. Man said, God's not even worrying about us. So why are we? we are if, he's, if, he's, if he's trusting in his own power to overcome in our lives, yeah, he's saying, don't worry, I'm going to do it. So, you know when, you, oh, that's what it is. We don't see it because we don't, when, 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 when we read God's responses to certain people's problems in the Bible, like I don't think we deep it the way, like imagine if you're drowning and G, like, you know when you're drowning, yeah? Not me, but if someone's drowning and I see it, even if I have the capabilities, I'm going to be like, right. You know what I'm saying? Man's kind of like, the, the shock of the situation is, even though I need to act, I'm alert, you get me? Jesus is like, man's drowning, you know? Jesus saved me. Okay. <laughs> man's stretched. He has so much conviction in his own power. Just stretch forth. We don't see the calmness of God in our situations, and it. Mm. Like, I think it's like failure doesn't exist to him, isn't it? Well, that's what it is, but I'm saying like, I never, maybe I'm just not saying, but I, like, when I, when I think of that, like, I don't, in my situation, I don't think that in it. That's mm. more time why I, not why I panic, but why I worry and why I distance and then why I spiral. Because it's like, this A, is nothing new to God. And B, it wouldn't even matter. He's not stressed. It's not like he's incapable of saving you in it. He's saying, wow. <laughs> even when, like, to Peter, 
when you're converted, yeah, da, 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 he's, he's, he's telling Peter about after he gets through this little whatever that he's going through at the moment. And it, but to Peter, yeah, or to Lyndon, I'm going through this and I don't see any way out. And here's Jesus saying, yeah, when this is all over, yeah, you're going to be doing this. And I'm like, what? How can you see past my, my mess? Like what I'm in at the moment, it's so deep. I say, my hand is not short that I can't save, man. I need to have, that's a lesson for me, man. I need to have way, like, and I'm talking about a practical faith in God's power and his grace. Yeah. He's not worried. I have no need to stress and worry because that's what's going to make me spiral. Let me just go to him, man. Just, but these, you know, when you, like, you should, man, you reading these things at 14 years old and I still, like, he's not, getting through, like it's just getting through now like you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah 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 listen 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 my, my my main concern is like you know when i'm upset and i'm angry and i get upset with someone else it's not necessarily about me messing up like as much as it is of my actions making the other person sin or my actions not leading someone to god do you mm. see like that, that that's why i feel i feel like uh, should I even have responded back to the person? Like, should I have spoke to them like that? Like, because maybe my reaction could, could be the thing that the person would turn around and go, I told you about them church people, man. Yeah, but that's, Andrew, that's the same, that's the same thinking, just a different scenario, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It ain't, oh, it's hopeless. Or oh, my action yeah. is going to cause this great thing that like, caused their damnation. No, that's not yeah, 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 yeah. So that's how the devil's got you on that one, isn't it? It gets yeah. us different. And different, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, that's gonna make us, oh yeah, that, that, that sounds logical. No, it's not. But in the time, it makes sense. Like, oh, I've, I've done this thing and it could do this. So you still, the, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the result is still the same. I'm discouraged. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. not going to go yeah. to God with that. Oh, wow. Lord, I've just caused someone's damnation. Forgive me. <laughs> no, no, <that's> <laughs> <such> <laughs> <man>. <laughs> what I mean, I just caused someone's damnation. The result is still the same. I, <laughs> I haven't got the strength for that, but... <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Nobody has. Exactly. Yeah. So the, yeah, God, yeah. The, God, the devil's so smart. It's still the same, isn't it? This, wow. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. discouraged. I think yeah. it's hopeless. I've done mm. this different little tweak on it, but it's the same at the end of the day. Do you know what I mean? Like yours yeah. is even yeah. worse. So smart for us. <laughs> yours is worse, Andrew. Man, like yours. That's a ba- That's a heavy thing to be trying to hold during the week. You better just t- chuck that away. Do you know what I mean? <sighs> And and that's the and the devil's smart like that because you're a Christian now he has to use what's going to work for the Christian. Yeah, hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah care yeah. about people. He knows you have this zeal for souls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's going to yeah, use yeah. that in it. Someone who mm. don't have no zeal for souls, he can't use that. Mm-hmm. He's not the zeal mm. for the family, the friends, blah blah. So he's going to be like, oh, 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 you think you're big time? You there? Yeah. What if they don't come to church now? What? If, and you oh yeah, so true. And the thing is. His lies always have a logic to them. That's why they work. Yeah. They work. <laughs> I'm so glad for this study. I'm so glad. <laughs> sometimes, then, I, sometimes oh, I, I, I know, I know, I know, I know about grace, and I know that it is great. It's, it's sufficient for us, isn't it? But there's times where it's like, it's like, yo, you God, you called me from where I was, brought me here to be an example, to lead others to you, and then, and then, because of my selfishness, because of my ignorance. Do you know what I mean? It's like, man, I'm, it's like, Lord, like I'm letting you down here, innit? Like, cause I got a choice in it and I keep making the, I keep it out of vexation. Yeah. I keep making oh. a wrong choice, man. Just, Let me give you this story then. The China shop, just one of my... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Long man. time ago, yeah, I was at a, a youth event. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I got, this was, this is before I was married to Janine, right? So this, we're going back. I've been married 12 years. So, and, and before I went to America, so we're going back uh, maybe 14, 15 years ago, right? And so in front of everybody, I, had, I got vexed, big argument, right? Right? And in front of everybody, vexed mm-hmm. and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I was so upset. I think I, did I? I think I might, have, you know, you're walking away, you do that. Push, push. I think I pushed like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of my face, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah? Didn't want to invite everybody. Obviously, this was like, there's a lot of little things that had been going on, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And this was like, as they say, the straw that brought the camels back. And this was in front of everybody. 
this is a big youth event. People were outside the building. The, the event had just, um, one of the services had just finished. We were outside just chilling, whatever, whatever, right? Now, how do you come back from that? How do you come <laughs> back from that? Well, there's only one way you come back. The same way you come back from everything else, right? So sure. all of what you're saying would have been play, played on my mind then. Oh, you're this, you're that, blah, blah, blah. And now you've done it in front of everybody. So I had, so what I did is the only thing you respectable person, you know, moved by the grace of God could do. So the next day I just um, went up, took the mic, didn't announce yeah. it because I didn't want anyone getting in the way. Oh no, you shouldn't. You shouldn't mm. do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah, with yeah, their yeah. reasoning, you don't have to. I knew I was going to get some of that from, I didn't, not knew, but I feared I might get it if I told him. And that's why I didn't want to give the devil any chance of yeah. trying to stop it. Facts. I just sat there in the next meeting in the morning and when there was a little gap, just went to the front, took the mic, made my confessions and my apologies, right? Yeah. In front of everybody. Big. What baffled me, literally baffled me. That was the first time I'd ever done anything in that public, that, that, and since then, and, everything I've, and since I haven't done anything like that since, right? But it's just in public, it's the public nature of it that made it a bit different. Do you mm. know what I mean? Right? Now, one guy came up to me and he said, Yo, Mike, man, I've always respected you, man. You know, you come every year, you, you do your testimonies, powerful, man, guys. But now I respect you even more. Mm. Mm. Sure. And I was like, and I was not, like, if you'd, if you'd said to me, you, let's say I had titles and you took them away, I'd be like, Fine, I don't mind. I've said sorry in it. If you, I, I would, I, I, it's like when you're truly sorry, you don't mind what consequences are gonna come in it. Like I'm equal to what you've done, equal to what you've done in it. So I didn't. I, I'm I'm just being humbled. I, I'm like, okay, I I am low of. I know I'm alright with God, but boy, you're still feeling it in it. And then when he said that, I sat there and I and it, I was like, I don't. How's it? I don't get how that works. You see me fall. Now I say sorry. You respect me even more. Even more. <laughs> that, uh? That's crazy. And that's the point, Lyndon. And what it taught me was that with this is the thing about the Bible. It doesn't matter. God, what heck, I'm trying to I'm trying to put what I'm trying to say. Let me say. I this. know this one's gonna right. be deep. Let me fluff. Wait, wait, wait. Let me make sure I'm comfortable for this bombshell, man. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Two things. One, Andrew, you, after this story, don't fear that your influence is lost when you make mistakes around friends and family. Mm -hmm. As long, and this is the condition, don't miss the big part of my story, you say sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And that's, for me, sorry is an underestimated word. A lot. Yeah. Underestimated. The power of genuine, I'm sorry. We're not, we're not going to go into what if people don't forgive you. Like, look, there's nothing you can do. That's their prerogative. Don't judge them. That's, that's between them. And things can take time depending upon the gravity of what's being done. But the power of sorry, how on earth, and this is the second part, how on, second point, how on earth would you respect me more after seeing me fail? It wasn't the failure. He's like yeah. going, ooh. It's he bounced back. He's, he said, that's grace. Mm. That's grace. They see mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. God is mm -hmm. really like through your example of not quitting. Oh, mm. that's Christianity. Mm -hmm. not, not, mm -hmm. now, don't get me wrong, right? Because I know someone's going to think you're watching live on here, right? Yeah, but he was supposed to just have victory. Yes. <laughs> yes. Mm. And, that, and his name is Jesus. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfection yeah, yeah. is called Jesus. So... Mm. I don't know what you're on, but I'm on Jesus who understands in the plan of salvation. If someone drops, I, I can catch him. So I'm yeah, really yeah. Plan for catching people. If you yeah. can't understand that, then you're not reading the Bible. And you're not you're not reading the Jesus I'm reading about. You see what I mean? Yeah. Understands, yeah. not permits and not condones, but God. Uh, and for me, that's it. Good enough. You understand the material we're part of. So people need to see that in us as well. And the reality is, as we're being honest and frank, sometimes our mistakes are seen. Yeah. What do we do? Don't yeah. focus on the fact that you've fallen. That is the devil playing on our minds, the accuser of the brethren. Because as soon as you say, I'm sorry, there are people, whether it's the person you affected, or people watching, or people who hear go, they get encouragement from it. 
How yeah. does we use it as a reason to not go to God? They weren't going to go to God anyway. Yes. Well, fuck. Yes. Kind of wait, wait, Anton. Yes. L- listen, yes. Andrew. People who use your flaws after you've said sorry as an excuse, they weren't going to God anyway. Facts. Do you know why? Why? You know why? Because they're going to make mistakes and say sorry to God if they ever come. And what? They're not going to want the same grace you're, you're extending to them. And mm, it don't make sense. sense. Doesn't make any sense. So people who use a Christians as excuse to not follow God, they're hypocrites. Yeah. When a hypocrite yeah. says that there's hypocrites in mm. the church, th- this is what I say to them now, right? This is what I say to people. I say to, and these are people that we're talking to, not people genuinely being hurt. We're not talking about that. We're talking to people who go, look at them, man. Look at them. They're in the clubs. I'm like, well, how did you see them in the clubs? I'm wondering how you saw them in the clubs. And I'm like yeah. this with people. I'm raw like this because I'm like, no, say something else. Yeah. Don't say you're not going to go to that building and you're not going to come to the God of love because you've seen people in that building, in the club. They could be struggling just like you. How about Mike, I, 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 oh, I Mike, what I was about to say because, like, even just from you, I ain't judging anyone yeah. who goes to no. a building once a week and they find themselves in a club. I ain't that ain't my business, man. Can I give you a story? Yeah, it I don't happened, know them, huh? Can I give you a story? Yeah, it yes, happened to that. me three weeks ago in light, in, in light of what Andrew said. Yeah, three weeks ago. Yeah, um, I went to the shop with my wife, right. And obviously, there's the policy of wearing a mask, okay? I don't like the mask thing, yeah? And as we were about to enter, I have the mask in my pocket, but the security guard, you know, he observed us from way out. And I decided not to put on the mask. Then he stopped me. He said, yo, put on your mask. So I looked at and I said, yo, I'm not putting on my mask. There are other people who walked in and put on the mask, and then... Like, it just left from zero to a hundred. I said something, he said something, and like, it just, it just blew up. And then I was in the, I was in the shop, yeah, and I said to myself, why did I say this? Hmm. Act this way. I came home with my wife, I said, babe, man, why did I say that, man? I should have said that I'm a Christian. And I'm beating myself, man, I'm beating myself. And then the following day, my wife's um, cousin was getting married. They called me to bless their the, the marriage and pray. And that same day, I'm, that, that, that same day, I'm blessing them, their marriage. I'm praying, Lord, help them. And, and I'm thinking before I have to do that, I'm thinking, but Lord, I just misrepresented you the other day. Why are you calling me to pray for these people? And I, I've been battling in my head, man, like, Lord, man. And then, then we're discussing right now, it's the grace of God. Just like John said before he left, Christ saw something in you. He's, he's, seen what he, he's seen the things that are in you that he, wants you, to use, that he wants you to do for him, basically. Yeah, so it's quite difficult, man, sometimes. But, you know, we, we're battling, man, we're battling, but like Christ has something important for us to do. So there are times we can misrepresent him and there are times Christ is, not look, Christ is not looking at that. Christ wants to look at what he wants you to do for him. Mm. And that I happened, think there's a bigger picture. That happened three weeks ago, man. And I'm, I'm saying to myself, but why did I do that, man? I'm beating myself. I'm going on my knees. And I'm still talking to my wife. Hey, why did I say this? Why did I do this? Why did I do that? And it's just the grace of God. Because the next following day, Christ used me to, to let me know. Don't worry about that. I've got greater work for you to do. And I'm mm. praying for these people on, on their marriage, yeah? That's, that's crazy, man. It's crazy. It literally oh, happened man. to me three weeks ago just because of a mask, man, a mask, you know. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, mate. Wow. That's real, man. That's, but bro, yeah. that's, yeah, that's, for me, you're right, man, um, Obadiah, I remember a long time ago thinking, why, why, why? Why, why? And then the Holy Spirit said, well, why are you shocked? Hmm. And I never, I never forget that. You know, I literally sincerely thinking, why? How could I? Me? Moi? What happened? 
And the Holy Spirit's like, well, why are you shocked? And I sat there and I was like, maybe then that, it, and, and Andrew Fuller's um, illustration, i never forget it. He says, there's a waiter in a restaurant and he's got his um, tray and a, and, a, and a jar. And in the jar is tomato soup. Could be anything. And he says, he gets knocked. He says, what are you expecting to come out of the, 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 the bowl? Oh, juice. T tomato soup, right? Yeah. You're not expecting Excuse anything me. that's not in there. So yeah. goes, when you get knocked and something comes out you weren't expecting, it's because that's what's there. Yeah. Don't man said, don't be surprised. And, and, and this is why, praise God, Obadiah, Anton, Khalid, Matthias, Harrison, Andrew, Lyndon, this is why we need to talk about and study grace. Because we, we get knocked and what's going to come out is something we don't like. Mm. We're like, what is oh. that? That's something that's, 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 already, something that's already there, but like, oh, that's crazy because like, because it's obvious that like, whatever that was, that you dislike it, but like, you didn't realise it was still there because obviously you're doing a Christian thing in it. Like, you've been, yeah. like, let's, like, let's keep it real in it. You've been playing the part in it for yeah. as long as possible, but God's like, it's still there. Yeah. Like, oh no 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 no! Nah, yeah, Andrew, it's like, it's like, do you know what? Oh, do you know why that's so powerful? Mm. Because before it came out, God knew it was there. Mm. But let's let's oh my let's flip this example, Obadiah. Yeah. Suppose the blessing of the marriage came before that situation. Mm. Yeah. In hindsight, God is saying, <laughs> "My grace knew that this was sitting inside you, and still allowed you to bless the people, even though it's up in your heart." That's the grace of God. Amen. Amen. And, and, and then even more, even more then, you see the situation that makes it spill out. Isn't that grace too? Because when it, when it happens, yeah, watch how God is. God's like, that is to show you that this was there in the first place. Now you can bring it to me. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Deep. Deep, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You know, another the situation thing is, you know, was another thing is, to demonstrate God's grit. Nah, that's too much. That's too it, it, it kind of feels like it's like just even from how Andrew's given his point, and then Michael's backed it, and then Obadiah's backed it. It's just reinforced it in me as well because it's like you guys have gone through this similar thing that I've been through. So we're all gonna do all of this. We're all gonna screw up. It's like when I heard you man saying, "Oh, you're kicked off." I was thinking, "Yeah." If I know, if I, if I, if I can testify for me, bro, I'm a waste man like that, bro. Like, I got a hot head sometimes. Bro. Like, off. Like, sometimes, bro. Confession. <laughs> Son of a waste you man like it. that. You might know it. Nah, it, 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 you know, I come up but it is what it is, isn't it? You know what I mean? But to hear you guys, for me as a younger brother, it's like, oh, it gives me something to aspire to also because I see the example you're setting for your effort. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, would any of you three be able to give such a, a detailed explanation on these things if you hadn't felt it? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's like, yeah. like, to say these things are in you because that's who you are, but you don't know who you're supposed to be teaching, innit? Mm. We've got to go through some hostile environments. We've got to go through some people who really don't match with a lot of things. And yeah. if you ain't got thick skin or yeah. you ain't a certain way, you're going to fold. And not being funny, but God's people don't fold, innit? So mm. it's kind of like they're not. They're, remember what it is to be meek. That's mm. what it is that we're trying to show right now. We're trying to show meekness, and right now we're just tweaking that. So we got the strength. We know we got the strength a lot of the time in certain respects because we exercise it. Like you're saying, that like we're playing the role. Even though you're playing the role, it's not like you're acting. You're genuinely, like you said, playing the role. But it's like yo, there's still there's still flaws there. Do you know mm. what I mean? You're still this guy that like Lyndon's just said. You are still this. And I'm going to use this part of you because I need you as you to touch X, Y, and Z. And that's how you guys have touched me. And it's like, yet again, everything in time because Obadiah said that that was three weeks ago. So brothers had to deal with this for three studies on the truck. He's felt <laughs> up built three times. But it's on the third occasion now that the, 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 the Holy Spirit and everything has manifested itself to move him to be able to come to grips with that. Now he's comforted. That's the Holy mm. Spirit, brother. Mm, mm. That's the Holy mm. Spirit working in numbers, bread Jim. That's what I was talking about. Wow, when we man. unite ourselves, we'll start to see this on a greater scale. Mm. Because we're acting as one body, bruv. Mm. 
Mm. We're no longer mm. these individual bodies. We're the same in God's eyes. The value is the same. So we have the same attributes. It's just, it's just how it's divided up. The ratios are different. Mm. And, and you know, from that, from that moment, yeah, like, but when that, when that took place, I said to myself, you know what, I'm going to strengthen myself by like, you know, before I leave my house, because people, have, people got different energies out there, different spirits. I'm just going to just say a little, you know, be more in prayer, like just, yeah. just pray, man, because you've got to be ready yeah. for what someone's going to tell you and your reaction. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. So I said from that day, every single time I go out, out there, you know, Tesco or Asda or somewhere, like, you know, before I leave the house, I'm just going to be on prayer. Mm -hmm. Because the devil is going to use that little thing, any little thing, a mask, you know, to walk over there. Anything. You know, an Anything, man. And start to make. And then you, you got to be ready, basically. So yeah. for me, I'm just in the prayer, man, like saying, Lord, help me quickly. Because people yeah. just, you know, have different spirits, different attitudes mm. and stuff like that. But it's, it's because of the grace of God that keep me going, man. The grace of God through Christ Jesus. For sure. Appreciate yeah, you man. keep going, bro. Cause, yeah. Yo, thanks to you keep going, bro. It's encouraging us to keep going, isn't it? Like, for real. So, so guys, grateful for that. You're trying it as well, though. You know, thank you for the efforts. <clears throat> Last text, guys. Mm -hmm. And this is a point. This is this this came to my mind based on something you said, Lyndon. Um, one for Psalms 147. Psalms 147 and verse 5. Great is our Lord and great and of great power. His understanding is infinite. Mm -hmm. So, here's a point I was going to make now. The Bible says our Lord's mind, our Lord's understanding is infinite. That means there's no end. Hmm. It was the Lord who inspired the scriptures. Hmm. So that means we are, when we say we get an understanding, or oh, I understand this text, how far from the Lord's understanding is our understanding? Wow. <sighs> it's infinitely. Infin so it's infinitely away from what you're really supposed to know, or how yeah. much you can know. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the understanding we do get. Mm -hmm. It's infinitely away from what you really could get from that one text. That's mad. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Right? So, this is the point. Stop beating up ourselves that a new revelation is being shown to you about the grace of God. Mm. Because guess what? You're going to get that next week. <laughs> <laughs> it's indefinite. Oh, boy. Oh, right. boy. So, the teachings are... Uh -huh. So, so... Don't, 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 don't be like, oh man, I never got this. How come I did? It's because I'm a waste man. It's because I was playing church. No, no, that's the other extreme. Mm, mm. It's just that's how it's supposed to work. Yeah, man. No, Mike. It's like it's an even more of a blessing because yeah, you're I saying. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, trust me, I'm saying for a yeah. reason. Because yeah, okay, go, go. the other extreme is we know many Christians who who think they who think they know. They don't. Yeah. They, they don't want to go over this again, bro. They say this is. So many Christians look at us like this is food, this is baby food. Yeah, is, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. I already know what grace is. Why are we looking at grace again? Bro, trust me. I've done Ephesians 12 many a times in churches studies, and you get a small little group going, wow, and sometimes you can get a majority going, like, but I know what it is. And and that and that mindset is the person who is about the intellect. I know the definite, but they ain't living it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, that's yeah. what study is about. I'm getting gassed every Friday because it the God has spoken to me about why this week you just done this, this, this. Mm, yeah. So clearly the, the intellect why, didn't matter. The reason why I get excited at studies and has always get excited from since I gave my life to Jesus is because God is speaking to me things that's in my head nobody knows about. Yeah. So as I'm in the Bible, I'm hearing God speak to me clear as day. And I'm like, wow, how, this has to, this is, this book's alive. When I'm in mm. Bible with others and I'm getting up, like when Andrew asked a real question, 
now we're not just looking at the surface, looking at words and phrases, breaking them down. Looking, now we're making application. That's uh -huh. why I said, now the study started. Uh -huh. Because when we come wanting to experience, not know, experience yeah, 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 the Lord, yeah, yeah. the real questions come out. The, yeah. the real, like, like Anton has said, he, he's appreciating the transparency, but that's the only way I know because this is about real life. This mm. is about my life. I'm reading about my life. Mm. I'm reading yeah, about... But through, yeah, but through that, through that, that's the only way that you can you can truly ever learn because it's, 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 um, it's truth. Yeah. It's the real up. something. So it's like, it's not like you're, you see, if you was lying, oh yeah, oh, you know, that like with the study, for example, and, uh, when you went to Andrews and someone was saying about the study, the Bible reader or something, you could have gassed it up. Yeah. I've done this and I do this. The, what was it like the morning text? Oh no, no, no. Oh no. You know, when what, you know what I mean? Often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's just say like let's just put to play devil's advocate. You could have said, "Oh no, nah, no, nah, I'm on this, and you can do yeah. this, Andrew. Look, look, just try and do this, and you could have gassed up the schedule." And to this day, Andrew could have stuck to that schedule, but it's like, is that gonna give him the true benefit of what he really needed? Would he have genuinely been quenched from what his actual needs were? Because yeah. like what you were saying about with the dishes with your wife, it's like and we want them to do something and listen to what we're saying. And we're, I'm sorry to just kind of go back to the other point with the tomato juice in the, in, in, the, in the tray. It's like, have you really done your due diligence on looking at what's in there? Do you know the ingredients that make that up so that you can understand that, yeah, that's all been blended together. So it looks like this, but in actual fact, these are all the ingredients that went in there, isn't it? Right. And through as being honest, that's the only way that you're ever really going to learn honestly, because mm. like, you never know what you're going to need tomorrow. Like I've always said to myself, and the, the, the philosophy is being, life is an exam that you don't know what you're studying for. Yeah. You don't know what's coming tomorrow. You don't know what's relevant. So it's very important that you quickly decipher all information, not to discard anything, really. Not that everything's going to be good or bad, but just to have an acknowledgement of it so that you can actually grow from that. Yeah. That's it. That's it, man. So the Genuine. point I was simply making was just his understanding is infinite. So we're hmm. always going to, we'll never stop learning a new yeah. insight, yeah. Deeper, yeah. a deeper, a deeper, and that's what makes it exciting. In fact, that it never yeah. stops. And then what? But also, it it stops pride. You never. So you never should go. Yeah. Oh, fully got it. No, you haven't yet. You're still gonna learn some more. You can never fully, fully, it's impossible. The very yeah, nature of it <clears throat> that will just keep on, keep on, keep on learning yeah. and growing. That's, that, that's what I'm thinking, because like someone could turn around and say that this is, this is like, I can't say this is milk, this is meat. This because is it's like, because like we've read, the, we've read these, like, let's be honest, how many of us have read Ephesians? Like we've read it yeah. like, like several times and <laughs> you read it several times and then like, you're looking at it now and you're like going like, oh my days, because it's like, it's that time that you spend like considering what's being said and, and, and filling your mind with what's being said, like taking time. Cause most of the time we just read over it. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, mm, mm. Probably, read a <laughs> probably have a study every now and again, have another, a study now every now and again, like, you know, you just get these studies somewhere randomly and you go through yeah. like, oh, that's good, good information. Great. And then, Someone like the dances come along and they're going, <laughs> I'm done, I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan oh, left, cut our heads off and left. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just seeing like, like, it's like the weight now, but the, like, on, a, on a real level though, like it's been opened up in a whole other way. Like it's like, this is something that, like, how long, Michael, 20 years now? Well, how long have I been back to the ministry? I mean, 20, 20 years, 20 odd years now in the ministry now. Like, this is someone that's like, that, that really sits down with the word of God. And, and, and you like, it's, it, it's a whole nother, like, it's like God's giving you a revelation that I'm not sitting down here just getting that revelation by, by certain studies that I've had. I've, I've been in church, I've said sermons, and I'm not giving these kind, these kind of revelations. Like, God's giving you and your brother these, these revelations. This ain't no, this ain't milk. This is, this is proper meat, man. But it's mm. something that's gonna I'm gonna take with me now. I'm fed. I'm fed now and I'm gonna mm. take that. And this is something now I can I, I it, it's like the anxiety that you had in your in your mind 
about you know the future your 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 future you know your your future place that you're going to that's lessened because of this because of this study do you see mm. what i'm saying so that's heal, that's healing for me like i've learned mm. something sometimes I, I keep it real man i've let i've left church man i'm going what's that sermon about now oh, yeah, do you know yeah, the wow. you made do a you good know the point deepness. Oh. but Go these on, are man, like, really every really single good. one of these studies i'm leaving and i'm going like you don't understand the the the, the closeness that these studies are giving me regard. Like now when I'm looking, right. it, like when I'm now when I'm studying the Bible, I'm seeing it from the, like a perspective, like it's like, oh my days, the love of God. It's like, you know, that's, you know, that scripture, the depth, the length and the, the breadth of his love. It's like, I'm, I'm starting to see it now. I'm starting to see that in these studies. Like, so I'm, a pre, I'm appreciating these studies, man. And that's yeah, just man. like, yeah, that's some real Amen, talk because, because it's like, I don't like I, I don't like studying if I'm not being like if I'm not learning something to take away practical. It don't oh, yeah, make no waste sense. The time, isn't it? Not That's making not no studying. sense to do yeah. that. Mm, mm, mm. Waste like I, I studied the seventy week prophecy and I and I left. Yeah, and I love the seventy week prophecy. But I'm leaving it and I'm like going like, yeah, okay. So what now then? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dehydrate, like, dehydrate, dehydrate, great information dehydrate, dehydrate. like blue when i first heard it it blew my mind i was like wow connect like the way like you can just you, you just get history and then it's connected like that for using the bible and then and then you leave and you're like yeah man so i'm still i'm still talking rough to the man down the road still i still give another I, I, you know you still have that like that guy that's around the ends in it he wants to give you a dirty look and you're looking back at him like yeah say something in it. <laughs> all right like do something in it. You still, but you still got them tendencies. Like, and it's like, okay, but now I'm like getting from now. Not what I'm getting from these is like, yeah, we still have those those animal propensities, but still, <laughs> the grace <laughs> is is it's just it's on a whole other level. It's like, I saw it like the way it's, Jonathan just came and said he already knew what he was doing with you, already knew what he was doing with you. So like, like <laughs> all that foolishness that you have in your head. It's like it's, it's in, not, nowhere in comparison to how he feels about you, how he really feels yeah. about you. Because he never took me, he never took me from where I was. Like, come on, man! Like my lifestyle that I was living before, he never took me from there to bring me here. To have when I mess up a little bit, I mean, and again, mm. I'm slipping a little bit. Like, like, yeah, of course, someone's gonna vex me. So, of course, someone's gonna upset me. Still, even now, like, and it's like I'm taking away that with me, going, man. You know, oh man, the stresses, man. Like, you know, Lord, man, praying, like, God, what, what, what have I done, man? Sometimes, like, I'm in some serious prayer, man. Like, what have I done, man? I'm just a mess. I'm a mess. Like, you know, when I'm on my knees to God, and it's like these studies are making me say now, like, helping me to see now. Like, it's like God's probably just sitting, standing there, just going, just get up, man. Hmm. <laughs> you know what it I, is, from? I, I, I heard you. I heard you when you got vexed with the guy. I heard your heart. Like you didn't want to get vexed with him. Like I, I know you mm. didn't. I know what you. I know you. What your intentions are, but you see the flesh. Mm. It's, gonna you, it's gonna have you every time, man. That flesh, man. You know when someone flexing, like you know, I it, it, like it's like how do you, like this for me personally? I struggle with thoughts like this. If a guy starts chatting up my wife. How am I supposed to deal with that guy? Depending on how <laughs> your wife him, feels. Without him, him thinking that I'm a like, punk. Depending <laughs> on how your wife thinking, feels. Like, how come he never said, how come he never done nothing to me, innit? Like, uh, he saw me playing in Chinese wife. He saw me playing in giving her, giving her the number and, you know, grabbing her arm or whatever, whatever, innit? And he came over and he goes, excuse me, brother, this is my wife. Please, like, like, like leave my mm. wife mine. And it's like, you know, I'm, obviously I'm not going to respond like that, but it's that like kind of like, they see in that, ah, oh, this is a Christian brother. Like, he's a, he's a, he's a you know, he's a punk. <laughs> and, and and I'm feeling that inside, but that's what I'm thinking. It's probably not what, it's probably not what he's thinking. Probably thinking, whoa, how could this guy never hit me? Like, he's probably in fear or whatever. But in my mind, it, that's what comes to my mind. It's like, this guy just thinks I'm an idiot, isn't it? Like, I hear what you're saying just, still. Look I hear what you're saying. saying. Is that meekness? For sure. <laughs> that that's the meekness that we were talking about, ain't it? Like having the mm-hmm. having the ability to do something back if you wanted to, but not doing but it. But not doing it, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. The back of what you're not... saying as well, like, <laughs> <It's funny. laughs> like we're doing these things, but one thing is that I'm consciously aware of as well, like we're infants in the eyes of God, isn't it? Like if a day to if a day if a if a if a day to him is like a thousand years to us, 
then we're infants in his eyes, aren't it? So mm. um, the bottom line is, bro, like we're doing all of these things that are the be all and end all of our lives because that's only what's comprehensible for our tiny little imaginations for where we are at this moment in time. But he sees the greatest scheme of everything because he's the creator, isn't it? And bottom line is, we're doing these things that we don't even know why we're doing them. Like, like it said in last week's scripture, you know what I mean? We, 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 we want to do the good things. We want to abide by the law. But we find ourselves just sinning and doing the things that we hate, isn't it? But, and God knows that as well. But I think, for me, it's just kind of just reminding myself as well that we're infants in the eyes of him. We're like literally babies. Mm. Like literally. We're not even mm. like literally like infants. And it's like he sees us like that as well. Not to not in a patronizing manner, but that that's just the way it is. So we're mm. gonna make mistakes, man. When a child does something naughty, but when you told them off, it's like their world's ending at that moment. Yeah, man. Guys. I would yeah. suffer with that too though, Andrew, man. Hmm? I think I would suffer with that too, man. Can you guys can you hear me? Oh, oh yeah, what well, we say, mate. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying I'm gonna wrap up now. <coughs> it's quarter yeah. to eleven. Oh, um all right. But, yeah, the time if time we don't life. see it, we don't see it and it because we're just wrapping, we're just like flies, But you know how many guys I want before we leave, yeah. Like oh. this study was powerful, yeah. Mm-hmm. And this is this is why yeah, it's so important, yeah, to study the things that are milk, yeah, because this is because what it is is for the you see for the intellectuals or the people who are up here and they're like oh that's baby food or whatever it's it's in their realm because it's an extremity of something that's so simple if you see what i mean you see what i'm saying it's like um it's like um milk to a baby yeah but then you've got like i don't know some next posh rich man milk that a 50 year old is drinking up in the Cotswolds somewhere you see what I'm saying so it's still milk but mm. both buy it if you see what I'm saying so like us now when we're chopping down scripture even in the physical world yeah how many like a chef a pizza chef yeah you don't see him just doing his own food here man will go to the pizza shop down here up here you see chefs do it all the time yeah go and visit different people and when you taste their thing with them the experience is different. You mm. assimilate their flavors and yeah. you two mm-hmm. appreciate it yeah. on a yeah. level yeah. because yeah. it's you and yeah. them. So if they do that, yeah, why doesn't he say, oh, it's just cheese on toast at the end of the day, isn't it? It's just mm. glorified cheese on toast. It's pizza, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> they don't say that. So why on earth would we think, yeah, when we're studying grace for the 50 millionth time, it's still grace? No, no, no. We're eating with God we don't deep that no, it's no. god giving us the plate we eat and every time we eat we're assimilating new flavors that we didn't mm. realize man put in there yeah oh, like this analogy, before man, like that. before we were just Probably. tasting cheese on toast yeah when yeah. we were first coming now <laughs> man's getting the parsley blood the time come on yeah man's got all of that in there yeah no 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 meat no pork <laughs> but you see what I'm saying though? And we're and, and and now, right, when we eat with each other, yeah, mm-hmm. someone goes, Yo, did you taste that smoked paprika in there? And then you're like, nah, let me take another bite. And you taste that and you're like, oh, I just tasted it still. And God is allowing us to go to each group of people and pick out a new flavor from that same meal. Yeah. yeah? So that's what I'm so thankful for in here. Like the word. It's all like I'm so glad you brought us to that text, mate. That one in, in that's what I'm talking about. The Psalms, what is it, 147? Yeah, that's so five. five. That's why. That's what I get from that when I think, yo, the height and breadth and length of God, you will never be able to distinguish. So every time you're learning more, you're just picking out a new ingredient, man. That God is is showing to you that you can appreciate among the group of people that you're studying with at that time, and it. That's a good analogy, man. You, you've inspired me with an analogy in my head. That's, 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 oh, big. that's big. That's big. Because yeah, you like to make your dips. <laughs> that's what you, your sauce <laughs> in your drinks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, can yeah. Well, my you analogy is different, but <laughs> your analogy made clear to illustrate something. But my analogy, it's not a food one. It's a more of a fitness one, right? Now, the average person, okay, they generally feel all right 
when it comes to health and fitness, right? Yeah. You're not going to feel like, okay, here's the question. When do you feel unfit? Oh, when, when, you, when, when, you, when you got a disease? We don't when you run, that extreme. When, when you run out of breath. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> when you run out of breath. Yeah, man. People don't wait. When you so, to run from... Them, man. Right. So you feel unfit when the task demands for your body to do something when you're not used to it. Yeah. Right? I get exerted. Pick up some boxes, run up this, the lift is not working. And then the person, then that's when the average person always goes, what? What do they always say in that situation? Man, I'm a fit man. Right. <laughs> but day to day, you watch TV, you go to work, you, you, you're all right because the pressure that's upon you, you're able, you're capable of walking over there. You're yeah. walking, whatever, right? But as soon as you have to do something that's out of the ordinary, you walk, jeez, man, I hear it from everybody. You, you hear it from everybody. You run for the bus. Yeah. Man, I'm unfit. Yeah. I need to, I need to. And then, you know, then we never take it further. You still stay. Because once that feeling is gone or feeling unfit, you feel okay again, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, spiritually speaking, hmm. <laughs> when do we feel, the reason why many feel satisfied that they have grasped grace, they're not living a life that they're being tested by. Oh. Because how can you feel satisfied? Think about it. You got, the Bible says, growing grace and in the knowledge of our yeah. Lord. Do you, mm -hmm. It didn't say intellectual. It didn't say, because I, I know what you meant by saying intellect, but I wouldn't even use that. Because there's no such thing as being truly intellectual, but then not desiring to study something that has infinite wisdom and knowledge. Mm. <laughs> That's, yeah, so, that, it, it's so, completely so, pointless. So, Feeling satisfied in our Christian walk with the knowledge that you have, oh, because you know the definition. My question is, you're not running for the bus often enough. You're not trying to pick up the, you're not trying to deadlift. You're not trying to run up the mountain. So what life are you living then? What are you, and that's why the Bible says, he who says he does not sin or has not, has not sinned is a liar. That's why we're feeling it because you're trying to live right. <laughs> I could you're trying to live right. You realize, oh, whoops, I'm not supposed to do that move that way. Oh, whoops, you're missing shots. Bang, some of us are throwing bricks, building houses and estates with our shots. <laughs> just like Jonathan said, it's the exact same analogy. Like, keep just taking the shots. That's, that's it. exactly what he said. That's it. Exactly it. Same. And, and that's what I was saying to, who was it? I, was, I can't remember who I said this to, but I said the difference, I think it was, yes, it, my cousin was saying to me, my man, I'm going to live the life that I see you, your brother, Andrew Fuller, Leif and them guys there in preaching place. Man, I want to live that life. I says, cause man, look, what you don't see, I'm going to use the analogy. Now, I didn't say this, but I'm going to use the analogy. What you don't see, we keep taking shots, even when we miss. And, and what, but what I actually said to him was this. You don't see me in the mornings, in the evenings, at random times of the day, praying to God, crying out unto him. You don't see that part of my life. You see the outcome of what Grace is doing. You don't see what what mm. what is the secret to quote unquote the power. You don't see the secret. If you could see the secret, you'd be like, is that and I guarantee you, and I said, Are you praying? No. There you go. It's impossible mm. to cry unto God because the Bible says that in Romans yes, 10. Sir. He who like let me I, I don't know. Who calls on the name of God will be saved. That's it. And I, and I remember studying that years ago and not getting it. What do you mean, yep. call? Is it that simple? Does it literally it might, mean in you know. the text, call? You, yes. If you call unto him, the Bible That's says, a madness, you know, because I had one guy say to me, yeah? Like, he came to my house. I know his missus, yeah? And I've been called with his missus for a minute, bro, like, before they was together, you know what I mean? And um, to say that like, he, he met her through me and, and maybe he just felt a little bit of a way that I knew her before or whatnot. But it's like, he's come to my house and she's come through and chilling with my missus and that, like, gone out to her, that like, bonus with him. And he's just stopped me, bruv. And he's like, yo, he's like, yo, bruv, he's like, yo. He's like, yo, did you know that I've always been jealous of you and that? And I was like, oh. Wow. He's like, yeah, he's like, yo, I've like, always been jealous of you. Like, yo, always envied you and that. I'm like, bruv, like, I don't know what, right. <laughs> don't know what you've been envying, bro. I said, my life's been absolute mess. <laughs> I said, I don't know what you've been, I don't know what you're envying, bruv. Like, you, you need to just clean off your glasses, bruv, and, and have a look, another look <laughs> Like, what you're looking at, bro. You know what I mean? And he's like, nah, but it's just the way you go through this stuff. And he's like, yo, you're still on it, bro. 
And I'm like, bro, like, I, I just, bro, I don't know why I asked him, bro, but I asked him. I was, yeah, you know what the funny thing is, Andre? I was on this park as well, again, that damn park. I said to him, I was like, bro, I said, have you ever prayed on that? Do you know what I mean? And he was like, not really. Bro, I was like, I ain't going to lie to you, bro, then that's the only thing that, that, that is separating us at this moment, fam. I said, I, I ain't going to lie, but I've been praying this whole time, fam. Do you know one of them ones I've been praying this whole time, bro? Like, literally this whole time, bro. Like, even if I've fell off a little bit, I still try to go back to it. And um, through that, like, he didn't really say too much. He was just kind of taken back by it, bro. And he didn't shout me for, for months. And then one day, he just randomly shouted me. He's like, oh, he's like, yo, do you want to go see my uncle in, 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 in Wolverhampton? I'll come pick you up. I was like, bro, I've not heard from you for months. He's like, yo, look, do you want to roll? I was like, all right, cool. Pull up at his uncle's house, bro, now, yeah? Show up, sit down. Um, his uncle's wife comes in, offers my drinks and everything like that. And I couldn't help but notice that like, there was a Bible on the side. And I was like, oh, so, um, you guys are, you know, you're, like, you're religious and that. And turns out they used to be like Jehovah's Witnesses and things like that. And yeah. as I started speaking to him, it's that like his uncle used to speak to him about these things years ago, bro. Do you know what I mean? And it's like these things have been laying dormant and his uncle's telling him, he's like, bro, he's like, you're not going to ever live the certain life unless you're praying. Do you know what I mean? You've got to exercise prayer first because he's like, I've, I've, I've been, he's, he's, this is uncle, he's like, I've been a struggling alcoholic for all of these years. Do you know what I mean? You said, Alex, you can see what I've been going through. He's like, you know what I mean? Because me and him and his uncle are talking and then he's then able, because this is monks down the line. So he's then put into place, oh, rah, this guy's been praying. And then he's opened back up to his uncle. His uncle's a man of God. Do you know what I mean? And then we've been able to speak then. And then he's been able to get that reinforced and the change of which I saw in the brother. Like, it's just like, it's like, it, 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 you can't even talk about the change. It's a madness. It's like a different guy. And it's mm. like, just through things like that. And that that just kind of just reminded me of that, just that alone. Like, he's thinking, oh yeah, what what are you doing? It's like, brother, I've been living in hostels for, I've been homeless, like sold out, betrayed. And you're telling me you're envious of me. Mm. <laughs> you're living at home, you got a whip, you got, you know what I mean? Like, what what could you be envious of? Uh. But it's just surely through prayer that it must have given him a certain perception of what is. So it's like, yeah, again, like I know that we were saying about, you know, that we lost our call on a few of the occasions. And, you know, we, we may not have thought that we would have been given the best representation of God. But to be quite honest with you, bro, could you have given a better representation of God that God's people are real people? God's people Jeez. ain't some, some yeah. joke man, like some stuck up joke men who were just smiling for the camera, kiss my hand, kiss my feet kind of brothers. Like mm. real brothers wow. who are actually frontline Holding living down, life, man. Yeah, living life as best as they can. Like, mm. At the end of the day, that's why that's why Jesus died for our sins, isn't it? This is why He was able to conquer all of these things, so that we don't have to. And after this year, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna send you guys a link to this bar I heard earlier on. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, but it's the coldest bar I have ever <laughs> heard. No, 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 serious, serious, <laughs> serious. It's the coldest <clears throat> bar I've ever heard, bro. And it came from Chipmunk a day ago, bro. Yeah. And he said something along the lines of, yeah, Jesus didn't die for all of us f- so that you do that. Mm. And that just clapped my mind off. Jesus didn't die for all of us so that you go and do that. Mm. Whatever that is, is irrelevant in this point. Yes. Yeah. The point of the acknowledgement of like, he's died for us so that we can actually go through and do what we're supposed to do, bro. Like, we're actually supposed to... It says slow to anger. It doesn't say don't be angry. Slow to get there so that you're not so irrational. So that you are thinking. It means you've genuinely been pushed to your limit. Mm. That's an example. That's what it is to be an example. In the flesh. Mm. Not perfect. So, um, yeah, that's that, that, that's deep, guys. Man, I'm just very grateful. Yet again, another week, I'm just grateful, fun, because... That just came to mind and just kind of just, yeah, just put that into perspective for me, really. Yes, brothers, man. Yeah, man. All right, guys. It's always, always, always a pleasure, man. So, man, always, man. Always. Always, man. But the secret, man. quickly, man, Andrew, um, what it is, I know you said the Danzy Bros, what it is, <laughs> I, I, I'm, it's simple, but 
we're just honest with each other in it, me and John in it. Mm. And so when when you're in your own your own studies or whatever, you just got to really and you got when I say got really be honest, it's not like we're not, but as in our environment doesn't encourage that transparency in it. Yeah. When I say environment, as in um, for many church folk, you, you know, you you have to put on that I know something. Many people are not going to let you get away with not knowing how to prove certain things in the Bible. Do you see what I mean? Prove this, prove that. You don't know where that, yeah. you know where that is? Comments like that are not helpful to a babe in Christ. Uh, and true. I say that straight. They're not helpful. I'm not judging the person who says it, but it's still not helpful. Mm. <laughs> Does that make sense? Certain mm. comments... Oh, you don't know this? You don't know that? Or you need to know? This is not educate. That's not good education. And we've mm. got that in culture within our church. And it's prevalent, prevalent. And more so in certain places than others. And I mean certain congregations than others. Some congregations, will never, you never get that stress. Like Jonathan's church, lovely. Lovely, different environment. They're about the community. They're always doing stuff. They're small. You never get that nonsense. Do you see? Others, you will. And it's just that's not just how it goes, isn't it? it? Gives you that's how it was when Paul was traveling. That's it. So it, it gives you a, 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 a warped, that's it. It gives you a warped view then of what you're supposed to be when you use this word Christian, especially Seventh day Adventist Christian. So then in your personal then devotions and prayer, what you don't realize you're bringing that into the mix. And so, in a sense, you're doing this and you're studying the Bible and you're wondering, why don't I get what they're getting? Because you're coming with other people's thought process and perspective. I need to know. So it doesn't become, I need to live. It's, I need to know. Do you see? Like, if you saw my Bible when I first came, ask my brother, proof of this, right? Genesis 3 was sellotaped in my Bible. One, two, was sellotaped. The rest of the Bible was fresh. And for mo like months and months and months, maybe even a year or two, I kid you not, the only thing I was studying and showing in Bible studies at my house was Genesis 3. <laughs> I love that. I love that, bro. One chapter. That's a learning lesson. Because, it's a madness. The, what I was learning in there, I was like, wow. So I would share it and I would teach it. And people would make a say like, oh, my daddy, man, have you read the whole Bible? I was like, no. What makes you think that? <laughs> Why? What makes you think that? I only know, and I used to tell them, I only know Genesis. And back then, that wasn't even a lie. I used to say, I only know Genesis 3. And they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, that's what, it's keeping me right now. And that's what I'm saying, I'm like, it's working. Why am I moving? Guys, listen, it's working. Why am I moving on to the next lesson? Do you, yeah. do you see? It's working. You're at, asking time, me, at that time, it's working, isn't it? At that time, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, but it is, though. So I didn't need to move on. To the mm, next, yeah, yeah. whatever the next lesson was. Yeah, you've not finished off that meal. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. It. <laughs> so that's it. I'm still satisfied. Like, you want to give me seconds, I'm still on the first meal. Like, yeah. what are you doing? It's no thank you. And you've got to be confident in our relationship and walk with God that you got to know yourself. Romans 7 in the, in the living translation, the way it puts it is quite interesting because it says, verse 14, I do not know myself. I don't know myself. And I'm like, that's interesting the way they chose to translate that. What scripture is that, sorry? Let me just quickly jot that one down. Yeah, it's, in, it's the New Living translation. I've got, I've got the New Living, I've got the New Living. All right, okay. Let me, it's Romans 7. Yeah. And I believe it's verse 14. I'm just double checking it again, one second. Yeah, I need to purchase. Uh, new Living, I've got, yeah, I said it's cool, I've got it. Uh, verse 7, did you say? Verse 14, I believe. Verse 14 reads... No, no um, it's not verse 14. It's not verse 14. Um, it's 15. I don't really understand myself. Yeah, I don't really understand myself. No, this is the scripture I was looking for. This is the one I was talking about. This is the <laughs> one. This is the... Oh, you're the guy, bro. Yeah, let me just quickly bookmark this. <laughs> yeah. I don't really understand myself, for I want to do what is right, but I don't do it. Instead, I do what I hate. This is what we said last week, bro. It's yeah. so deep, yeah. bro. And that's what Jonathan's saying. Like, knowing that, how can you beat yourself up knowing? <laughs> it's, it's laughable. It's laughable. That's we we, we so, should be absolutely ashamed of ourselves. In that's a, in it. A, so, Anton, hold a second, Anton. So, because the, the King James or the authorized version says, for that which I do, I allow not. So, I like the way 
it's interesting the new living the way they've decided to translate i don't really understand myself and for me that's big do you see because for me that encapsulates a lot so when we understand ourselves and uncomfortable with who we really are we then can have the confidence to say now you know what i'm going to take my time on this i'm going to you know i'm still looking at this you know i'm still trying to grasp this you know what now i'm going to yeah, I can hear you. And you put that on the shelf, so to speak. And then you revisit it when you feel, and that's okay. Confidence is very, very key, very important for us to develop. Very, very important. I've seen it, this is the thing. We have seen it too many times where people come in and then they start being presented with other, other things that weren't really life given and necessary for their walk to grow grace faith none of these things do you see and and, and just the bait i want i don't like to say the word basics because that's not even what i'm trying to say it's not basics right but becoming just strong in the lord in the you know yeah the simple the simpler thing not basic the simpler things what does it mean to have faith what do it mean with grace prayer how do I study my Bible? What does it mean to have a devotion? Like these are fundamental things that keep you forever because they, they're, not, they're, not, they're not supposed to stop. But then if I introduce other more difficult lessons, which are not really connected to, like Andrew said, 70 weeks, he didn't see the practical application. He couldn't see no lesson he could make for his life where he's right now. Doesn't mean it's not important. Doesn't mean he didn't need to learn it. But was it introduced? Do you see what I mean? You've got all these kind of questions. So it's like, that's important for us to develop that confidence saying, nah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Like, I'll get to that. I'll put it on the shelf. Because, man, yeah. So, guys, man, I really appreciate. And the studies as well are good, Andrew, because we've got all willing people here as well. That's another mm-hmm. big, big mm-hmm. factor. We're all here mm-hmm. just wanting to, we're willing to be honest, man. Good questions, honest of a diary's testimony they're like come on man it's not every it's not any and everybody's gonna say yeah man i kind of lost my call to security guard in tesco <laughs> like no no one's gonna say that no one's gonna yeah. say that and it's things like yeah. that that i value in the brothers and that's what makes it just 100. you get faith you get this. just you know what i mean yeah man it's big it's big so for me that's a blessing man you know what i mean so we're not we don't have to we don't have, none of us feel we have to be fake around each other and that's a blessing that God is. None of us will have to. I don't have to impress Andrew. I don't have to impress mm. Ali. I don't have to impress nobody. Do you mm. see? It is what it is. You don't like it. You see? And, and for me, that's a good thing we, God is developing among all of us so we can just grow together. And like Anton, you said a big point. There's people, man, that we're going to meet and they're in, they're in a pickle. They're in a mess. And they, we're being developed. You know what I mean? So, anyway, man. Who wants to close in prayer? Does anybody want to close in prayer? All right, I'll close if you do. Obadiah, was you going to close? Yes, I'll pray, yeah. Okay, yeah, go yes, ahead. Yes, Obadiah. <laughs> Big O. Heavenly Father, Lord, I just want to thank you for this platform where we as brothers can come together to um, study your word. We thank you, dear Father, for Bring us together to help, dear Lord. We thank you for your mercies, your goodness, and your loving kindness. Most of all, we thank you for your grace. And Lord, as we are about to depart, we pray that your presence will be with us, dear Father. Strengthen us. And when we, when we shall come again, dear Lord, to read your word, dear Lord, prepare us again. And give us a wonderful Sabbath day of rest and prepare us for the new week. We thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thanks, bro. Yes, man. Listen, God answers Obadiah's prayers. Yes, everything that he just said, yeah.